this is Tom Styles, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. And today we're going to continue the review of this MFJ antenna analyzer, the MFJ226. And today we're going to show you it working with a computer. Okay? Right here we have one of my old, old, old laptops. This thing is ancient. It's running a Centrino processor. I think it's only got 512 mega memory. This thing's ancient, but the software is running fine. I use this laptop as kind of my test bed when I'm trying new software and stuff like that. So if it blows up, I've got a complete restore file that I can restore the whole computer. Okay, so the MFJ analyzer is right over here and it's running real-time testing my G5RV antenna and this software is monitoring real-time well almost real-time that test results so this graph and we zoom in here where's my zoom button oh, where'd that go okay now I have to move it in Jeez. okay that's okay um, yeah, maybe I can zoom in one more yeah there we go. That's that's pretty good. Um, where was I? Okay, so this is running real time. You can you can select. Where's my Mister Finger? Oh, here he is. Okay, you can select all the different tests that this analyzer will do real time. Just you click on one of these buttons and it starts doing that type of test. Over here, you can change the parameters: the start frequency, the end frequency. The center frequency, if you want to change that. The span, which is, I think it's done automatically, or I think if you select the span, it's going to take the start and add whatever number you put in there. And the maximum data points, um, up to 127 data points. I believe if you make that a smaller number, the refresh rate on the plot will be faster. Up here, you see this flickering up here. Every time it does a refresh of the data and updates the plot, that blinks. Down below that is the frequency and SWR reading where the pointer is. And you can move this pointer. See it's moving right there? So I can select, for instance, I can select this little low point here, right about there. And that says at a frequency of 18.279, the SWR is down to 1.29. Now, I have to kind of track, backtrack a little bit. Just because you have a low SWR doesn't mean that you're going to get better reception at that frequency. It's just a, another indicator. Because if, if you want a perfect SWR flat across the frequency, you can put a W load, which is an impedance, impedance match load, on this analyzer, and it, it's like, this is perfect. This is going to receive the world, and it actually it will receive nothing. So keep that in mind. This is just another tool to give you an idea of whether your antenna system is working and where it's working best. And since this analyzer continues running the test over and over again, you can tweak your antenna and see what differences it makes on the SWR reading or any of these other readings. Keeping in mind, you got to be careful you don't like, you know, short out the antenna or something like that and damage your meter analyzer. Okay, what else? Um, you can save. A plot to your PC using the let me get Mr. Finger using the save option. You can load a file that you've saved before. Say that you've taken your laptop and your analyzer out to somebody's house and captured some data, and you want to take a look at it, and uh, you can load it back in. You don't have to have the analyzer connected. You can also load data that you've saved on the analyzer. So you just had the analyzer with you, and you captured the data, like I showed you in the previous show. You can download that data, and it will plot it for you. Now, I think the manual was saying that when you save a file 
on the analyzer, you can load it into your PC. And of course it's all this is all connected up through a USB cable. And it's in CVS file, which is an Excel format. It that doesn't appear the case, and maybe that was the way the software worked before, or maybe there's another file out there someplace. But now you don't have to do it that way. Anyway, so you can do that. Um, you can actually print the graph. I don't have a printer hooked up to this laptop, so I can't show you that. And over here, you can change this scale, this vertical scale. Right now it goes 0 to 30 SWR in a logarithmic scale. So I can zoom, moving this slider. And uh, so now it's blown up. It only goes to 10 SWR. And apparently I've got some readings above 10. So let's go back up. Yeah, I've got some readings at 15.5. At 15 okay. And you can change the scale from uh, logarithmic to linear if you want to do that. Okay, what else? Uh, you can also do a Smith chart. It's another tab up here at the top. So you can do all these tests plus you can do a Smith chart. What else? Uh, I think I said you can change all these parameters over here, the start and stop frequencies and so on. I think that's about it, which is a lot. And it's real time. So like I say, you know, let me see, I'm just going to move the, the uh, cable around and see if that has any effect shouldn't but it could yep yep there was a little little movement whoops of the camera there was a little movement of the plot so for instance let me uh, let me pick a point here and leave the cursor there so I'm at 7.129 and it says the SWR is 1.63 so I'm gonna see if I can reach over there and move the cable yeah move the cable and wait for a refresh, and it didn't change any, which is good. It says my cable doesn't have any problems. And that's one thing you could do. You could, uh, you might have a problem with your coax cable, not your antenna, and you, you can flex it to see if this plot changes. So lots of things you can do with this software. It, uh, you have to download this software from the MFJ website. It doesn't come in the box. Uh, you download the drivers to talk to the USB port to the device, and you download this software. And there's a little PDF file that tells you how to go through step-by-step -step and install the drivers and everything. Oh, earlier, I think I've taken, uh, I've started this show about six or seven times. And the reason being, I was all set up, it was running, and I was, got into the, pro, I got into the uh, video about five minutes into it, and the analyzer shut off. So I thought, well, maybe it's in, you know, battery save mode, and that's an option, so I'll go check that. So I looked in there under settings. Sure enough, there was a power setting that you could have it automatically shut off or not shut off. So I set that to don't shut off. Started the video again, got about in, into it for about three minutes. Boom! Analyzer shuts off again. No data coming across. I'm like, what is wrong? So I restarted the laptop. I restarted the analyzer. Got all set up. Started my recording of my show, started talking for about two minutes, boom, analyzer shut off. And I go, what is going on here? So it's little things that just drive you nuts. Well, I have been using the analyzer quite a bit, and the batteries were dead, or low. And so it run for a while, and then the batteries got too low, it shut off. So I got fresh batteries in there, no problem. So anyway, that's it. This is the, uh, again, one again. MFJ226 Analyzer. If you enjoyed the show, please give me a thumbs up. 
I've got a, three or four other things that MFJ has sent me this week, so i got a bunch of stuff to review. If you have any questions about this analyzer or any of these functions or anything, please ask. I might not have the answer, but you can ask anyway. Maybe somebody else knows. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.